everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, somewhere over there. And welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and that really is Potato. You know, he's been loving sitting in this chair lately, and that includes, like, burrowing up in the blanket and everything. Um, a lot of people, you know, anytime that Judy hasn't been in the chair in a while, a lot of people are like, Zach, is she okay? What happened to her? And she is fine, lovely, amazing. I just like don't move Poe out of the chair if he's already sitting there or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Like I let them just enjoy wherever. I will occasionally put them in the chair if nobody's in the chair, but these days Poe has just been loving sitting back there while I'm working and stuff like that. So I just let him do it. But today's video is probably gonna be a little all over the place and also probably, <laughs> Probably, maybe not that long. I don't know. We'll just see <laughs> where the day takes us. But I do just want to preface that although I have posted a lot of silly parody videos about silly goofy things in my life, uh, today is not a silly goofy parody. It is actually real life things that happened. Although once I tell you about what happened, you're gonna be like, Zachary Lynn Reed, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? So anyways, the thing that happened is that if y'all didn't know, I am in a gay softball league. I also am in a gay beach volleyball league this summer for the first time and have previously played indoor volleyball with the gays. It's, they're gay leagues. It, it's Pride Month. Please don't ask me too many questions about it because it's my month and if I want to play in gay-centered sports, I'm just going to do it, okay? I'm going to be with the queer people and we're going to have a good time and play our sports. But we're going to have a good time hopefully for the rest of the summer without me injuring myself because yesterday... I injured myself, <laughs> and it's totally, truly um, just embarrassing. It really is, because I don't even know. I truly don't know how it happened. There were no sidewalks involved. There were no scary curbs or ledges. I was pl I play second base in the softball, okay? And I don't know if you know a lot about how softball works, but if the the ball gets hit out into what is it right field if it gets hit out into right field then second base usually runs out to right field to be the cutoff and then the shortstop comes up to second to watch the base because you've left it unattended right and so this ball gets hit out and it doesn't that doesn't happen often if you didn't know most people are right-handed so they hit it when they hit it they hit it out to left field not that anybody cares but just in case you're wondering so you know I'm not usually having to do this but this time it happened a ball got hit it went out into to right field so I'm running because I know I'm not gonna catch it but I, I want to be there ready for when the person in the right field gets the ball so they can throw it to me and then we could potentially either throw it to first or second and get an out and so I'm running, and I, I know the ball at this point is somewhere above my head, and then I hear, and by hear, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Why am I using the words that I don't mean to use? I feel something on the back of my left calf. It feels like, in my head, what happened is it felt like the ball hit me. It felt like a ball hit the back of my left calf, and I was like, shit, fuck. I think I literally said those things out loud, which is fine, because it's all adults. We're all adults playing it. There are not children present for gay softball. And so <laughs> I was like, shit, fuck. And I'm like, what the hell? And then I see, though, the ball flying over my head in front of me and going down and hitting the, the grass and then the person in the outfield picking it up. And I'm like... Well, shit, if a ball didn't hit me, like, what hit me? You know, I, I'm, we're playing in the dirt part. There's the, the infield is all dirt, and the outfield is all grass, right? And so I was like, did I kick up a rock, and it, like, somehow came and hit me? Like, what the fuck happened? And I just, like, immediately start, like, limping, and I had to catch myself so that I didn't fall. And I'm like, this is fucked up. I don't know what happened. I'm, there's this one guy on my team, he yells way too much, he makes it very much not fun, and he was yelling at me, and I'm like, my dude, something just happened to my calf, I don't know what's going on, 
And I was just like, this, I gotta be okay. Like, there's, listen, there's no divots in the field. There was nowhere for me to trip. It's not my ankle. My ankle's not dangling. It's literally my leg, I guess, that's dangling. My calf muscle that's dangling. And I just, I just don't know what happened. So after talking to some people, they were like, Zach, you probably just pulled a muscle. And I, I guess that's all I can say that happened. Cause like, I don't have any, definitely, I don't think anything actually hit me. There's no bruising. There's no mark on the back of my leg. It, it all appears to be fine. But when I tell you that I struggled and struggled to walk, and then I was like, Zach, this can't be that bad. Like, you literally were just jogging, running like you normally do. Nothing could have happened. Like, you're you're probably exaggerating this. So I just kept pushing. I just kept pushing because this was the second game we played. So I was just like, I, I just got to make it a couple more innings. It's going to be okay. It probably didn't help at one point that I did, like, a pirouette trying to, this is after whatever I did to my calf happen. I was trying to tag somebody out and I did like a little spin <laughs> to try to like swing around and get them. That probably didn't help anything at all. I probably really should have just stopped playing and asked for somebody to sub for me, but we only had like one extra person that game. And so we really would have been limited in what we could do. And so I was just like, it's fine. Just like, don't try as hard. Just don't try as hard. The game is over and I'm like, oh, this is not good. I can't, I can barely walk. I was like limping everywhere. And we always go to this place afterwards to get, to get food and drink. And so I was like, I'll still go to that. I mean, I, it's not like I have to stand to do that. I just got to sit there. <laughs> I just got to sit there and stuff my face. I also hadn't had uh, breakfast that day. I was gonna, my original plan was to stop by Starbucks, grab a Sammy, grab some coffee and go to this game but my bus was running late so I didn't end up having time to do that so I was like very hungry so I had to go do this I had to go get food with the team because I was starving which I don't know maybe in hindsight maybe that was also part of the reason that I somehow pulled my muscle like maybe my I, my body was feeling depleted of nutrients and sustenance. I, I don't know. I, unlike Amber Lynn Reed, I was not a doctor in a past life. So fuck if I know what actually happened to me. And I, I made it through the lunch and everything. And it was feeling better because I was resting and obviously not standing on it or trying to run or play softball on it. But then when we got up to leave, I, I didn't, I was gonna try to walk home because that's what I would normally do from where we were at at the time. And I was gonna try to walk home and I was like, fuck, I can't do this. So thankfully I had a teammate who gave me a ride home. Once I got here, I just like immediately plopped down on the couch, put some ice on it, took some ibuprofen. And that's where I stayed the rest of the night until I went to bed. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, God bless Noel. He took out the dogs multiple times for me, uh, which I do usually do more of that part of the caretaking of our dogs. And so God bless him for, for doing all of that for me. And, you know, he kept he kept an ice bag on my, on my leg for me and this, that, the other. But damn. I was tired and I will say, so I did wake up today and I had like one appointment I had to go to and not related to my foot or, or leg or anything like that, but um, I had one appointment I had to go to and it's not that far away from where we live and I don't, like if you don't know, I don't own a car. I live in Chicago, public transportation, very good or at least better than most places with public transportation. And also, like, I live within walking distance of a lot of places that I need to go, like a grocery store, things like that. And so I never had a car. Well, I've had a car in Chicago, but I haven't had a car for many years, and it's perfectly fine. Except for today, because <laughs> I only had to walk, like, a few blocks, and it was a few blocks too many. So struggling to do that. Um, it does not hurt nearly as bad today, but walking is very difficult. And in general, I think my body just feels very drained from the whole experience yesterday. And I think it's still like trying to recover and things like that. And so all of this to say, the reason I'm making this video, I don't know why I'm making this video, honestly, because I could have probably said all of this in a community tab post, 
But the reason I'm making this video is just to let you know that I know between Amberlynn, Destiny, and Life Plus Cindy, there are six hours worth of live streams that I need to catch up on. Um, Amberlynn and Destiny both went live, I think, on like Saturday. And Amber Lynn was live while I was at the hair salon getting my hair fixed, which, I don't know, she's our, her whole own entire story, because uh, this is still not <laughs> necessarily where I was going to go. But actually, even today specifically, even more, I'm like, oh, I actually kind of like it, even though it wasn't what I was, like, hoping for or planning on. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of cute. It's kind of a vibe. It's, we're, we're leaning, we're leaning into the, the frail yet slightly overweight elderly lesbian accusations for Pride Month. And I, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy to continue giving frail yet slightly overweight elderly lesbian, if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, so she was live streaming while I was at the hair salon. And even though my hairstylist is very aware of Amberlynn, <laughs> and like that's how he actually found me. And like I was complaining about my hair one day and he messaged me and was like, oh my gosh, like I'm here in Chicago, would love to do your hair. Let's set something up. And so I've been going to him for like three years. He's great. I do enjoy him. Um, he's wonderful. Where was I going with that story? Oh, even though he is aware of who she is, I was not like trying to watch Amberlynn while I was also supposed to be just like relaxing and getting my hair fixed and done and whoever, whatever. And besides all of that, like I, you know, especially for like a live stream that that is that long, I like to be able to like watch it all at once, which by the time I realized that she was live streaming, I probably already missed like a good 20, 30 minutes of it. And also like, I like to take notes and make notes of like timestamps so I can include clips and things like that. And I just wasn't like set up to do that at the hair salon. So I haven't done that. And then Destiny went live that evening and she went live while I was watching the new Spider-Man movie that night with Noel. And so also, <laughs> also did not, did not get to, to watch her while she was live. Um, I have seen some people talking about it. Uh, my, my eventual video about it won't be like a first time live reaction anyway. So I'm not too concerned. It's just going to be my thoughts overall, uh, but I also still have not watched any of it. Uh, I'm hoping maybe, uh, I'm not gonna live stream today and I'm hoping maybe I can take this afternoon to watch through it at least today and then um, maybe give you that video tomorrow. And then the other thing that happened is that yesterday or last night, Cindy went live, Life Plus Cindy did, and there's already been a lot of people asking me to discuss that and cover that. Um, she went live for three hours, which I hear a lot of it is not super interesting, which doesn't surprise me. Um, but, but she went live for three plus hours last night. And like I said, I was feeling physically miserable and did not do a lot of anything last night. I did attempt because I was like, well, if I'm just sitting here, let me go ahead and try um, to get started with The Legend of Zelda, the new Tears of the Kingdom, uh, because Noel has been wanting me to start because Noel's been playing it. Oh, there's something in my nose. Oh my God, this is such a mess of a video. So I will say that um, I tried to do that, but even that I was like exhausted after only playing it for like, I don't know, 30 minutes an hour, maybe longer, I don't know. I, I, I conked out pretty quickly. <laughs> and so, so it's just been slow movement, slow progress being made here today. And um, I guess that's the reason I wanted to let you know is that I know a lot of people want to know my thoughts on those things. And everybody's always like, Zach, it doesn't matter when you get to it. When you get to it, we'll be there to watch. And I really appreciate that. Um, but I did just want to give people a heads up. Um, and if you're interested or concerned about Twitch, I'll say that uh, I'll be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday still this week, as far as I know, unless something else comes up, <laughs> some other medical ailment uh, comes up, then I guess maybe I won't be. But that's what I'm planning on doing, I guess I should say. Is that okay? Is that all right? Are we all good? Are we, are we good? Did you appreciate this update or should I just have posted something on my community tab? <laughs>
<laughs> uh, it does feel just so silly because I like even even at the moment I questioned how serious it was because I was like you didn't even do anything you were just moving you were just moving but I guess all together I really like there are people I did tweet about it and there are people that were like you're you're never gonna beat those frail yet slightly overweight elderly lesbian allegations. And it's true, I'm really feeling the elderly part of it. <laughs> I'm really, really feeling the elderly part of it today. So we're working on it, besties. We're working on it. And hopefully I can have a thrilling, entertaining video for y'all tomorrow about all of the Amberlynn and Destiny drama. Uh, I assume I'll cover that first since it happened chronologically first. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe I won't. <laughs> knows who knows but thanks so much for your patience i love you all so so much um and that's all i have for today so if for whatever reason this is your first video here today um i hope you'll consider subscribing click the bell button so you get a notification every single time i post a new video and make sure to leave me a comment hit like click share and follow me on all my social media I love you all so much, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!